Late this summer, a small group greeted Mr. Shigeru Kojima, curator at the Japanese Overseas Migration Museum in Yokohama, Japan, during his research on Japanese food brought by Japanese immigrants from Japan to the United States. A Japanese Overseas Migration Museum was established in 2002 uh, to promote the knowledge about Japanese overseas migration. Japanese people, especially young people, they didn't know the history of Japanese overseas migration. But from 1980s, mainly from South American countries, many Nikkeis, Japanese, Brazilians, Peruvians, Argentines, have, been, have gone to Japan to work or to study. Because of that, many Japanese people uh, became impressed. The presence of Nikkeis in Japan and they suddenly knew that many Japanese people went to overseas. But Nikkei population today, Brazil has the largest number of Nikkei, one million and six hundred thousand Nikkei. And in the second place, USA, one million and three hundred thousand million. Then Canada, Peru. So we regularly receive Japanese school, uh, elementary, junior high school, high school, but also all, all the, we receive a lot of Nikkei people from Hawaii, from uh, United States, from Brazil. Our museum is a national museum established by the Japanese government. We have permanent exhibit. Permanent exhibit has not changed, but every year we have several uh, special exhibit uh, we had uh, already a special exhibit uh, such as Nikkei festivals or so-called Takuan Boeki, Nikkei, uh, Nikkei trade between Nikkei in the Americas and Japan. And also we had uh, so-called Kenjinkai, some uh, provinces like Hiroshima, Fukuoka, Okinawa, uh, they have association and they have many activities. So we'd like to show uh, their presence in the Americas and also in Japan. Many people interested in Kenjin Kai. I became very interested in, uh, firstly, in Brazil, not immigration. Uh, I became interested in Brazil, so I took a Portuguese and Brazilian study course at university. I entered in Sofia University in Tokyo, and at Sofia University uh, we had a cultural exchange program. So uh, I, after, uh, after the second year, I went to Brazil to uh, study uh, at graduate level and I stayed two years and then I continued my study and I took the master course in Brazil. In this occasion I, uh, I knew through my Brazilian uh, colleague, friends, I knew many ethnic background uh, people uh, such as uh, German, Italian, Ukrainian, uh, Polish, and uh, they have their own ethnic community. It, I became very interested in these uh, ethnic groups. And then I, they, suddenly I became interested in what about Japanese community. And also I stayed more and more years in Brazil. Uh, I myself changing and I I was thinking I will be a Brazilian. I had to come back to Japan. I liked very much Brazil but I like also Japan. So I, I thought uh, I go back to Japan or I continue to be in Brazil and I chose to back to Japan because I wanted to keep my Japanese side. 
But I continued uh, my study about immigration studies. And then uh, I had a chance to work to um, establish this museum, Japanese Overseas Migration Museum. This project started in 2000, and I entered uh, in this uh, group to establish Japanese Overseas Migration Museum. And this museum was established in 2002. Since then, I, I, I began uh, to do research about not only in Brazil, but also in the US and Canada. So uh, I have a very good opportunity to know many Japanese communities in the Americas. It, it enriched me a lot, yeah. Yes, this time uh, I, I came to do research about uh, Japanese food, mainly, but uh, not only food, but women's contribution. Mothers at home, uh, many contributions. Until today, at our museum, uh, women's contribution is not uh, so clear. But Fujinkai or always women contribute a lot. So this side we want to uh, show uh, at special exhibit. Many visitors, Japanese visitors, they, they didn't know the history of Japanese overseas migration. So be they become very interested and also knowing more about the history of Japanese Nikkei communities or reality of communities today, they, uh, they understand Nikkei people, they keep, they conserve more Japanese tradition than Japanese in Japan. Well, I personally, I like to uh, hold a special exhibit about San Jose, Japan town, because I, I didn't know San Jose. Né? This is the second time. The first time I came to here, I realized this is a very special place. San Jose, uh, Japan town, you uh, maintain a community spirit. In Brazil also, there was some uh, Japan town, but today almost disappeared. But here in San Jose, you maintain. It is wonderful, splendid. So I want to show mainly to Japanese people here in the United States, uh, community spirit survives. Japanese spirit survives here. We're looking forward to that. When are you planning this exhibit? Well, I, 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 I can't say I when. Can't get him to commit on the yeah, I can't say <laughs> when, but. I'd like to, yeah, in, in the near future. Okay. Yeah, I, I learned a lot from Nikkei people. Uh, when I went to Brazil, I never expected that uh, I knew more about my personality as Japanese in Brazil, uh, Nikkei community in Brazil. Uh, so, I think Japanese people could learn more about Japanese tradition, Japanese culture through Nikkei people. Nikkei people, they maintain much more about Japanese culture, the Japanese tradition. In this sense, uh, our museum has a very important message for the Japanese people and also Nikkei younger generation. Because of that, LALA exhibit, License Agency for Relief in Asia, very important history, and third generation, fourth generation, they, they don't know this history. Very important to uh, pass on th those histories and realize the importance of Nikkei community in the Americas and also in Japan.